Ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? Once again, I'm Nev from Nev's Tech Bits. Today we're going to have a look at the Echo Auto. This is uh, an Echo that was designed to be used within your car to turn your car into a smart vehicle. All kinds of cool things you can get on here. And ultimately, it works off the data from your cell phone. So, get in here real quick. It's all packed up very nicely. I paid 24 for this. It's 60 something new. And here's the here's the unit that uh, is pretty small. We actually have a plastic case, though it looks metal. We have the hookups, we have a USB micro and uh, an auxiliary cable. I'm not sure if that's a speaker spot or not. I haven't decided if there's a speaker in there, so I wanna do a bit of a teardown and have a look inside. Uh, I'm really impressed to see that it comes with a good uh, cigarette lighter unit. Four amps. This thing outputs four. Where does it say that? This thing outputs four amps. Output four amps. Man, I have flattened my battery in my car with these before. Anyways, it's supposed to click into your slot. So with that, I have the power. There you go. Click into your slot, and then you just uh, yeah, magnets. How do those work? Anyways, what else we got in here? I guess we got some cables. Okay, that's uh, that's really cool that they would provide you with that. The uh, the cable out, the speaker out, the headset out. Very nice. <clears throat> I'm really happy with that. I'm really happy with that. And then here you get, of course, your USB micro mini whatever cable. All right, so let's get into the main unit. Let me uh, get this thing on. It should be said that this unit only takes one amp. It only requires one amp. So just for... Just for fun, I'm gonna hook it up here to an external battery, see if it will work. Well, we have some power. What's two times two? Two times two is four. Very nice. So yeah, I'm just running this thing off of um, standard USB power. And through Bluetooth, and connected through Alexa, I can take this wherever I want and just hang out. I can just take this around with my uh, Metal Beats battery. Yeah, so you get your power and you get your mute. Okay, so what I like doing with this unit, I like to take this to work and put it on my desk and sometimes I like to ask uh, mathematical questions and equations. And uh, it's definitely good for that. Definitely very small. We got a magnetic grasp to the back. The audio does seem to come out of here, and it also seems to come out of the uh, the phone. And I can't make it switch for some reason. So next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I can open this up and see what size the speaker is on the inside. Okay, so this one's definitely tricky. I was wedging it. I was really messing with it. At first, I was sure that it, there was just clips. They got something funky going on. They have uh, an extra piece over top of the feet. So you take the plastic off, you're like, oh, there's nothing there. So I was like, oh, I was getting mad at it. I was looking in and I could see an anchor point. So I was like, there's got to be something under there. And I went digging and there they go. So we got some torques. Let's see what I got. Yeah, it definitely gets a lot easier to get in there once you get the torques out. So I already busted it open. And as you can see, all the nicest stuff lies under that heat shield. And it's not the kind that I can pop off easily, so... Not sure what I can do about that. Anyways, the uh, speaker was over here. Here's the speaker. You can see there where it gets its power. And it is so small. This is the tiniest speaker I've ever seen. But, at the same time, it's good enough to pump out power just basically enough. So you can hear it a little bit. I'm really super curious about what they got going on under there. Because I think they might have an arm chip. And that's always very exciting for me. Oh wow, that's your meat and potatoes on the top of it. Oh, and we do have some chips here that we can see. I'm not sure if those are any good to us. What's two times two? Two times two is four. Okay, so we definitely have the buttons here. So we can turn her to mute still. Or I suppose turn her on and off over here. 
Sorry, I don't know that one. So you could definitely take this and use it to put Alexa in something else that would still be able to talk to your phone. And that's pretty interesting. That's pretty cool. So what's the date today? Today is Wednesday, 25th of November. This thing is definitely worth 25 bucks, guys. How are you feeling? I'm feeling absorbed by Robert Frost's poem, Dust of Snow, The Way a Crow shook down on me the dust of snow from a hemlock tree i hope you're wearing a tuke oh wow that was deeper than i thought man it's such a small piece of metal they got on this thing too interesting see it's okay it's got a smile on its face man it makes it look just like a face doesn't it anyways definitely an interesting piece Kind of like if you got a TV that's not a, not a smart TV, you can get a Fire HD stick to make it a smart system. This unit basically makes your makes your car a, uh, a Bluetooth smart system. Even if you don't have Bluetooth within your car, as long as you have an auxiliary port, that's all you need. And then you can communicate directly with your car. And for 25 bucks, that's an awesome price. I'm just amazed they managed to make it so cheaply i'm inspired what a what an age we live in what an interesting time what a time to be alive i can literally take this to work plug it in not put it on the network and then speak to a unit just like i would at home once again without putting anything on the network because sometimes that uh, it'll tick off your administrators right Anyways, that is really cool. I also turned cellular off and I was still able to use it. So I'm super happy with that. This is definitely a good product. And if you want to upgrade your car, this is what you do it with. I wouldn't trust anything else. I trust Amazon. Um, I, I don't know if I trust them to keep my information private, but they would be just as good as any other no name brand, I imagine and uh yeah it's good stuff definitely check it out anyways ladies and gentlemen that's it for me nev from nev's tech bits like and subscribe if you like this stuff you know it's always appreciated and as always folks take care of each other right eh?